morning everybody and welcome to paradise i'm currently in the maldives at go eco sea total conservation project this project looks like so much fun i'm excited to show you what we get up to This is kind of cool. So some of the volunteers have put their little mark here on the sea turtle place. I love it when volunteer places have this. Welcome to the Sea Turtle Conservation Centre. Okay. So the reason we have four little babies is that the issue in Maldives is that the locals like to keep turtles as pets. And what they do is they put them in fresh water, which turtles actually live in salt water. So it doesn't work. So these guys were actually kept in fresh water. So what they've done is we've collected them and we're currently getting them used to salt water before we release them back into the ocean. So doing a bit of a rehab between fresh and salt water. Yeah, and a lot of the times this is like quite stressful on their body. So sometimes they don't survive, which is really, really sad. But these guys are going quite well at the moment. This one's Pip. And it's currently feeding time and cleaning time. So we just put them in here while we clean and feed them and then they go back into their little boxes. So the trick is to try and catch them. <laughs> So these ones were kept by the locals and now we're just trying to grow them up to about 28, 30 centimeters. And then once they're that size, we can then release them into stage two, which we'll show you later on today. I just love sea turtles. They're so cute. <laughs> so these aren't albino. These are just the style of sea turtles. This is this green turtles. shell is concave Aww. so I think the issue with this one is that what resorts do is when they see a turtle come and lay eggs they then take the eggs and wait for the eggs to hatch and eggs are really fragile so these are the type of things that can happen to the turtles when you're touching the eggs it's so sad oh this one's my favorite one so we put them in here so we can feed them and make sure they get the right amount of food and then while we're in there we clean out their tanks they're so cute. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the nursery and these are so cute. We're still waiting for them to grow at the moment. I think they're about 10 centimeters. So they still have quite a bit of growing to go, but like, look at these guys. A lot of resorts have kept them as pets. So that's the reason now that they're here, I'm trying to rehabilitate them, ready to release them in the next few months. Look at this guy. How cute is this guy? <laughs> So while they're eating, we're going to be cleaning out their tank. So hungry. Feeding time. So we're feeding it tuna and these have all been weighed out compared to the weight of the turtle. No, their buckets look super small at the moment, but in like five minutes they should be back in their giant tank. We need it to grow big and strong. Alright, this one is Luna and she was caught in a net and as you can see she's losing one of her fins. So she's currently in rehab. Buoyancy rehab. So yeah, buoyancy. She can be buoyant when she goes back in the ocean. Yeah. So this one here and this one over here, they both have lost a flipper and they're in the same net. As well as this guy, but this one only has scratches. So luckily she kept all her flippers. You call them fins. So yeah, these guys need to go on a harness at the moment because they're still learning how to be buoyant again, seeing as they now only have three flippers. So we're currently really smart, feeding. She's literally swallowing it whole. Whoa! So we just set them out like this, and then we'll put them in, have a little head poking out, and then like wrap it around their body, so 
their fins are on their back. And then it can keep them secure for about five minutes. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> Alright, this is Roshi. And he is ready, he or she? He. he. He is ready to go on to the next phase of the rehabilitation. Good. Oh, I'll get you in there soon. <laughs> oh, we'll get you out there soon. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Roshi and Aaron. Yeah. So stage two of the rehabilitation is we actually have a sea enclosure and they put them out there for about three to four weeks and then they're ready to be released back in the wild. How cool is this little restaurant? Right on the beach as well. Tasty. What is it again? Rashimi Shumi. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> Roshi. Ma so this is Roshi. Yeah. That's Mashumi. Mashumi. And it's like coconut and tuna? Coconut, tuna, onion and like cabbage. Oh, wow. Milk. So this is like a traditional Maldivian breakfast. Yeah. Looks nice. Mm-hmm. Looks really, Looks really, good. really good. Jumped into our volunteer accommodation. It's actually really nice. We've got a fan and some air con, which we're soon going to find out we're going to be having on all the time because it's so hot here in the Maldives. But yeah, so we have two single beds, which is really nice. We've got some lights and some charging ports, a desk as well, some chairs to chill. And the bathroom looks super bright and clean, which is really nice. And I hope that is hot water. I think it is because everywhere in Asia, if you see these machines, it's hot water. So I'm very happy. We're going to check on the two little guys that we released yesterday. We got some food, so we're going to give them some food as well because we're going to monitor you know how much they're eating the enclosure is for them to try and hunt and get adapted back into the sea but of course this is their second day they're probably a little bit hungry probably a bit unsure what to do so we've got some snacks for them and we're going to go and feed them is seriously guys this is why you come to the Maldives to do your sea turtle conservation there's a bit of a sand cage just over there and there was a lot of reef back there as well captain has found us an island alrighty guys work is done for the day which means we have some spare time. We finished up about two o'clock. We had some lunch on the boat over because we've come to an uninhabited island here in the Maldives. Our boat pickup has just come and we just watched the sunset and it is so beautiful but I think here in the Maldives once the sun has gone below the point that's when the true colors come out like look at these there's a bit more pink and then that's the sunset just over there and that's the little island we just spent the whole afternoon on ah, it was such a peaceful way to end our time here Did I? 
watch the professional Ed. All right, let's see the supposed expert. <laughs> They burn the coconuts and then they use them as like charcoal. That's really interesting. Yeah. That's too hot. It's so hot. I know, especially with it already being hot here. So <laughs> having a barbecue with all the fish we caught. We're getting into it. I'm jealous. Oh, I'm so hungry. This looks so good. Guys, it's our last night and this is so cool ending it having a Maldivian barbecue with the fish that everyone caught barbecued right there. Oh right. It's good. We're ending the night with marshmallows. And we're doing the Maldivian way with some coconut leaves made into a stick. Woo. That was such an incredible week. I don't know which was my favorite bit. But I would have to choose, it would be releasing those two sea turtles back into the ocean. That one is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. But if you are interested in volunteering right here in the Maldives, just head to goeco.org and has all the information on how you can get here. See you guys next time.